Good, me- good morning, year one. How are you all? I hope everything is okay. I'm Miss Maru Aydel, and this is your science lesson. And we are going to discuss how to sort the materials. We have different materials, and we are going to put them into groups. Are you ready for this lesson? Let's start. First, look at this picture. How many different materials can you find? Can you look to the picture? Can you try to say how many different materials? I'm going to help you. So the first one here is glass. The glass, like the pole, the window, and the mirror. They are made from the same material from glass, right? And there's another materials like the wood. The wood here, like the table, chair. Can you name another material? Okay, so fabric, like the curtain, the rabbit toy, they are made from the fabric, right? And some made of plastic, like the toy, the turtle toy, and the girl toy, in the radio, the cover of the radio, they made from plastic, right? There are different other materials, like metal, the shells made of metals, right? So, we can sort materials according to their properties. You remember the properties? The properties mean we are going to describe the object. And you remember what the meaning of object? The object means thing. But first, how we are going to sort? What the meaning of sorting? Sort means that we are going to arrange or put them into groups. What does it mean? What, what do you mean about this? Like this, if you have this toy, your mom will ask you to put all these dolls in the same box, right? And all, if you have all these cars, toys, so you are going to put them in the same place, right? So when you do this, this is called arrangement, right? Like you clean up your room. I put everything in its place by putting everything which is similar to each other in the same group. This is called sorting. Put them into groups. This is called sorting and the sorting is very important in science. Right? So, we are going to look again to this picture and try to make different sorting. We make the first one according to the materials. We have different materials, but we can put them into other group. Yes, soft materials like the curtain and the toy rabbit, they are soft, right? And maybe it's they are smooth also. Hard materials, can you name some hard materials? Like the window is hard, the mirror is hard, the pole is hard, and the pot, which the plant is inside it. This is hard materials. There is another sorting, shiny materials. Like what? The matter. Any shiny materials also? Maybe the shelves, because of the light, right? So, we can put them into groups, and you can do another sorting by putting them into two groups, small materials or large materials. This is another sorting. So, look at this picture to understand more. I will give you this picture and we are going to put them into two groups. Are you ready for doing this? We have here brick, shirt, pebbles, this is kind of rocks, and a scarf made of wool and paper, right? Can you put them into two groups? So we are going to look to these pictures and to these materials and we can describe it, right? The brick here is so hard, right? And so heavy. And it's rough also. The shirt here is soft. It's smooth. And it's flexible. The pebble is hard. It's not heavy. It's tiny and light. And it's a so- smooth also. 
the scarf here is what who can tell me soft right and the paper heel is the paper here is smooth materials and also flexible soft and flexible like what like the shirt like the fabric like the the scarf and like the papers right they are soft and flexible materials and hard and rigid materials like the brick and the petals so i put them into two groups or not yes we did it thank you guys so can we make a smaller group try to think so how we can do this different materials of fabric so in the same material there is different fabric inside it like this scarf it's made of wool and the wool come from the sheep you remember it's a natural material and this is scarf it's made of silk and the silk come from the the silkworm and this shirt is made of cotton and the cotton come from the cotton plant they are all made from different materials like the wool the silk the cotton excellent but they are all fabrics right here different type of plastic look at the first picture and the second picture this rope is flexible it's made of plastic but it's a flexible plastic right but this pail it's hard rigid plastic and rigid it means not flexible so there are different smaller group in the same plastic the step plastic can be flexible here and in the pail can be hard and rigid different type of paper like what the first one here this paper that we write it inside the school or something and you can study from it inside it this is flexible and smooth this is newspapers it's another type of paper the card the cardboard here is hard and this is another type of paper the twist which we can use it inside which we can use it so maybe in decorations or something or in the birthday parties it's a flexible and you can touch it it will be rough materials so there are different kinds of paper papers inside the same materials they are all made of papers right but they are different properties they have different properties right so what i have learned in this lesson that there are different type of materials and different type of materials can be sorted into smaller group based on their properties i can look and describe it and then i can put them into groups and what the meaning of properties yes it's how i can describe the object and what the meaning of object yes the object mean thing so, and we are going to describe the object by using our what the five senses you remember Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Wish you all the luck and see you soon.